What do you want to say to me? I'm here to listen to whatever you have to say. I'm going to kill you, father. Certainly a startling opening line. Do you think it was an idle threat? I don't know. I'm not sure. If you're not sure, it means it's possible. Body of Christ. Things you hear in confessions these days. Do you know what felching is? I do know what felching is, yeah. I have to look it up. That's what I've always liked about you, Father. You're just a little too sharp for this parish. Interesting man, you father. A good man, a fine man. Nobody around here has a bad word to say about him. Makes you wonder what he's hiding. I'm going to kill you because you're innocent. I give you enough time to put your house in order. Sunday week, let's say. Could have a word in private. I hope we don't get locked in here. We'll have to make love to keep warm. <laughs> Finish with all your gobbledygook. Every life is sacred, Frank, for God's sake. Some are less sacred than others. The commandment, thou shalt not kill, does not have an asterisk referring you to the list of instances where it's okay to kill people. What about self-defense? It's a tricky one, all right. What does this man want? There's no point in killing a bad priest, but killing a good one. That'd be a shock. I call the fire brigade, father. It takes a lot of nerve to burn down a church. I'd say it was the Romanians. They're awful heathens. The Romanians. Nobody wear a grudge against your father, no? Yeah. That could be half the country. The time is gone, you don't even realize it. My time will never be gone. I think there's too much talk about sins, not enough talk about virtues. What would be your number one? I think forgiveness has been highly underrated. Do you not have anything to say to me, Father? Not right now, no. But I'm sure I'll think of something by Sunday week. <laughs>